In this video, we're gonna take a look at a really cool universal effect we have on board, the looper. Let's dive in. Let's talk about the looper. This is a universal feature on the head rush, meaning you can access it at any given time just by selecting it here. What's cool about that means it doesn't consume a block to use it, and you can get to it any time. So you can see uh, when we select a looper, it completely transforms the layout here to accommodate all the looping. Uh, but what I've done is I've actually already captured a loop, and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit play and, and play over that, and then we'll break down what we have here on uh, the rest of the feature sets. So let's talk about the different uh, functions of the looper. Obviously you can record and play back. You can insert directly into the loop at any given time. Now if you don't like what you play, it's really cool because you can peel that right off um, as you saw me kind of deconstructing what I did there. You can mute the entire loop altogether so you can come in and out of that. Now when you hit mute, it still continues to play in the background, but it just mutes the audio out. Um, you saw me reduce the speed by one half. That's a really cool feature in case you want to create some sort of atmospheric sort of thing and, and just uh, get really moody with it. You can also divide and multiply the loops. So you can cut it in half, say you do a four bar loop, you can knock that down to two or you can increase that to eight. And you can also reverse the audio after it's been recorded. So a lot of features here, really fun to play with, really cool. The perimeter values that are up here on the right hand side of the screen, these will allow you to adjust the mix, feedback, and the location of your loop post or pre. So the mix is simply the input coming in, the guitar or instrument, uh, versus the loop that you've already rendered. So you can adjust that accordingly depending on how much of your playing and the loop that's been rendered uh, coming out through the main output. Feedback uh, set at 100% will maintain the loop indefinitely, but if you want that to gradually decrease over time, all you have to do is just roll that back. The location is post or pre, so you can set the loop block at the beginning or end of your signal accordingly. This will give you the benefit of maintaining all the sounds in your rig or putting it in front of the rig so you can actually audition what you have played throughout different rigs to really narrow down the sound that you're going for. So that's been a look at the looper on board Headrush pedal board. Thanks for watching.